Hello everyone, it's Shell C from Paper Rock to Your Studio and today I am sharing with you my Pick a Stick Challenge art journal page. This is the sped up version. Peg Robinson and I did this on the Art Joy of Sharing live stream channel today, which is 4419. And so if you'd like to watch it in real time along with what Peg was doing with the same prompts, there will be a link at the end of the video where you can go and watch the full length recorded live stream on the other channel. So the way the Pick a Stick Challenge works, there are randomly drawn prompts. There are two colors to use. You can use other colors if you want. Then there are six steps and you need to use those in order. And they're one word prompts so you can just use whatever it means to you. And then there are two wild cards that you can replace one of the prompts with. You can add stuff before, in between, and after, but the, you just need to use those six prompts and use them in order. The first prompt was smash. Now, that could mean anything, right? Smashing things together is, is so open for interpretation. People were freaking out over in the group. Like, what, is, what technique is that? Well, it's whatever you want. So for my smashing today, I'm going to smash my gel plates onto my page to make my background. I'm using the turquoise and apricot colors. I think that's a really great color combination, but just make sure you don't mix those two together because they will make a very muddy, nasty brown color. So, <laughs> because that is a version of a yeah, orange and a version of a blue, which together make yuck. So I'm starting out with some different uh, paints that I have, some ocean color, some light blue from Amsterdam, and uh, I think there's one called, uh, I don't know, anyway, I had three different colors that are in the turquoise family, uh, light aqua from Liquitex, I think is the other one, um, light aqua green, and I'm mixing those on the plate with my... Um, with my brayer, and then I also use some portrait pink and some blushing from Dina Wakely to also add in that kind of an apricot peach color. The next prompt was um, crayon, and so I'm using different crayons I have here, just showing different ones. There's so many versions of crayons that you could use. I've got my Neo Color 2s, I've got my um, Distress Crayons, I've got some Dina Wake Wakely Media Scribble Sticks, or, which are a type of crayon. You could also just use plain old kids crayons. You know, you can do some really great resist techniques with just plain old crayons. <coughs> Excuse me, not feeling very well. So then I was talking about um, when I was trying to come up with what I was going to do on my page today. I was flipping through some stuff and I saw this piece of Happy Mail which had a stamp on it. That stamp is from Suzy Blue um, Designs or I don't know who manufactures it, but it was a Suzy Blue drawing. And I thought it was a simplistic but very cute little drawing. So um, while I was waiting for the show to start, I drew it in pencil on some deli paper because I thought it might take too long to do it on the live stream. We have an hour and a half and I didn't want to waste a lot of time drawing. So instead, I drew it on the deli paper and then I cut it out in preparation for putting it on the page. And there was a prompt, prompt three was sew, but I didn't want to sew, so I replaced it with glue instead. The fourth prompt was scallop or scallop. Now that the word, the spelling of it, it has to do with the actual scallop food. You know, you might eat that with some seafood and it comes in a, a scalloped looking shell. You can use it either way. I wanted to use scallop as in the bumpy type of a design, um, little, you know, scallops, bumps. And because that, that shows up on the drawing along the bottom of the dress. And I thought it would be cute to put it around the page. So I used a stencil girl stencil. I will link all the all the products I used in the description box below the video so you can find them if you like that stencil. It's a really cool one. And then also I have this other stencil girl stencil that was designed by um, Carolyn Doobie that has some words on it, which was my other inspiration for the page because, you know, sometimes we come out with our prompts and people are fussing about what they mean and I just thought this saying, 
you know, there's no rules. There's no rules. If you obey the rules, you miss the fun. You're using your own intuition and creativity to make your art the way you want it. The prompts are just a challenge and you can use them whatever way you want. They are just to kind of kickstart you, get you going, get you moving, get you doing something. So, you know, people don't freak out. Don't freak out when you're art journaling. This is an art journal page. Do whatever you want. So um, the next prompt was light. And all I did for light was just lighten up some area, kind of add a halo around the drawing using um, titanium white acrylic paint and a water brush and my fingers a little bit to blend it. Blend it. So that was what I did for light. And then <coughs> the only other prompt left is color. And so I'll be doing that with some Posca pens. I got this new set of skin tone Posca pens. Um, I think they're new on the market. There's also one that has, I think, eight in it that has some more pinks and things. But I figured with that pastel set that I had, I already had some kind of pinks. So I decided to just get the four pack and it has ivory, it has um, beige, it has a light orange and it has a brown. And up there in the right hand corner of the screen, you can see where I swatched them to see what kind of colors they were. I decided to use that to color the skin of the drawing, um, adding some shadows and highlights with it. Uh, it was getting too wet though, so I set it aside to dry for a little while um, and went back to just coloring other parts. But I did color everything. <coughs> I'm sorry, people. I was just uh, not feeling well. I colored the entire image using different Posca pens with the exception of the background of the skirt, which I brought back in that distressed crayon and colored kind of a turquoise on the skirt. But this one, this pen is called uh, Light Coral, I think. And it really, it really went with the kind of apricot colors that I used in the background. So I used it quite a bit. I used the brown for her hair and the, and the beige. Um, from that new skin set. I used the ivory and the light orange on her skin. I did bring in a bright pink for the cheeks and the lips from a different set that I have of brighter colors. Uh, my gold Posca pin for the crown. And I did end up putting some little jewels on the crown after the show was over because we ran out of time. I just glued some little jewels on there, but you can see here I am coloring the skirt more kind of a watercolor effect by scribbling on some of the scribble stick. No, that's Distress Crown, sorry, Distress Crowns, and then blending with the water brush again. So, you know, there's lots of options for coloring. You could paint it in, you could color it in with whatever type of markers or pens you have. Um, coloring, that's such an obvious prompt. There's not really anything you could do. <laughs> that could do that wrong. <coughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment or question below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bells. Share this on Pinterest or Facebook. All those things help my channel grow. And of course, there'll be a link below the video that you can come and ask to join the Pick a Stick Challenge Facebook group if you would like to play along with these challenges. That's it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>